Hello, buddy. My name is Mr. Bonesy, and welcome to Five Nights at Candy's. Now, I'm playing the remastered version. I don't know if I should have my webcam here or on the other side. I'll figure that out once I get into the game, depending on where the camera is and stuff is. But, um, yeah, I decided to play uh, Five Nights at Candy's. I, I played Treasure Islands. I played the remake of Treasure Islands. Um, and now I'm playing Five Nights at Candy's. I thought it was just the next best thing to jump onto. So, yeah, let's just jump in. Candies, burgers, and fries. Family restaurant looking for security guard on the night shift. 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Monitor cameras and ensure safety and fire. Okay. Night one. Let's get into it. Oh, wow. That's a lot of, like different sensitivity than I was expecting. Oh, that's weird. I have to get New used to that. One. New message. Hi. Hello. I'm the junior manager here at the restaurant. I'm supposed to walk you through the job as our new security guard. From your resume, I can tell that you're already a well-experienced guard. But, you know, it's protocol, so I have to walk you through the basics anyway. So, let's get started. We have security cameras all around the restaurant. And if you bring up the camera panel, you'll be able to view the feed from each camera by pressing the camera buttons on the keypad. Now, our lights are always off during the night. Obviously, because it'd be a waste of power to leave them on all night. So to actually see something on the cameras, you can activate the camera system's night vision mode. You activate night vision by clicking on the button of whatever camera you're currently viewing. So for example, say you want to see what's on camera 1. You bring up the camera panel, you click on the button that says cam 01, and then to use night vision, you click on cam 01 again. Once night vision is activated, you can click on any of the other cameras and use them with night vision as well. And you turn it off the same way you turn it on. Night vision takes more power than regular vision, so make sure you use it sparingly. Your first priority as a security guard here is to keep an eye on the animatronics. Those are really expensive machines, and we do not want them stolen. And to keep an eye on them through the cameras. We have quite a few animatronics here at Candy's. There's of course the cats Candy and Cindy, there's Chester the Chimpanzee, there's the penguins, just lots I tell ya. Uh, so, you also have three security doors in your office, each of which can be closed by pressing the door button by each door. These are here in case you're in some sort of danger, but personally I just use them to shut myself off from the world when I need a break. But don't let me be a role model on that one. You need to remember that closing these doors takes power, and the longer they're closed, the more power they drain. Now, I know that sounds kind of backwards, but you have to trust me on that one. I think it's something about the doors having an automatic fail-safe feature in case the power gets cut off. You know, so they open up if there's no more power. All I know for sure is that they do use more and more power the longer they're closed. So you don't want to keep them closed for too long at a time. Now, uh, the reason I keep mentioning the power is because the restaurant uses a backup power generator at night, which only has a certain amount of juice in it. So anything from viewing the cameras to using the security doors takes power. You can see how much power you have left on the computer on the desk in front of you. Try not to run out of power. If you do though, you won't be stuck in the office since the doors will always open up anyway. Oh, and uh, one last thing. The animatronics aren't completely turned off at night, so they might start walking around a bit. But just be careful not to let any of them into the office, because we have stuff in there we don't want damaged or anything. Though, don't bother with the ticket booth door. They won't attempt to get in through there. That should be all. You'll hear from me again on your next shift. Have a good night. Oh. Alright. Uh, the ambience is cool. Ah! Ah! I also kind of like the burger. <laughs> the burger is kind of nice. Um. Three doors. <gasps> They're all gone! Holy fuck, where did the other one go? Okay. Okay. Fucking Jesus. I didn't even get a second to talk about you guys. You guys have fucking left. So it's like the night vision still technically draining power despite the fact that I'm not on camera. Where did Candy go? Candy? Um, I lost one. Oh, thank God. 
Okay. Um. Also, like, can I just unplug three of the things on my desk? Because I have, like, three equipment stuff. The lamp, the fan, and the monitor. And the clock, actually. So four. Can I just unplug those? <laughs> to say, like, more power? Oh, you left. Oh, you're on that one. Okay. Wow, I didn't expect them to fucking teleport the moment the call ended. They were, like, all staying put. They respected the guy on the phone. Holy fuck, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> that, that actually made me jump. Okay, you guys are next to each other. That's cute. Uh, good thing I could look quickly left to right. Fast. Okay. God, this is so stressful. There's just two of you. <laughs> okay. So I think I just need to worry about f six and four, honestly. Right? I think six and four are the ones that are dangerous to me. Right? He was there. I saw his eyes. Did he? Did he just leave? Oh. Interesting. Did you go back to the stage? He did go back to stage. Oh. I'm noticing I'm not using as much power as I was thinking I was using. Because now I, I could still look around, I think. Oh, my God. Ch Chester, was it? Oh my god, calm down! This is like the, like, oh, did you know, is he like, I know he's not the Foxy, I think if I remember correctly, the Foxy's the other guy. I don't know what Chester does. This is also the remaster, so I don't know if it's different. I remember seeing the old one. A long time ago. This is already stressful and nothing's happened. Well, I mean, I got attacked, so I guess something did happen. 70% power though, with only 5... Like, at 5 a.m. at 70% power, and I've been mainly using the, uh, night vision? Not bad. Not bad. Maybe it's one of those things where, like... That I'm gonna be closing a lot more doors, so, like, the power's gonna drain a lot more faster. And, like, the progressively in the night. I'm not really sure. Um... Cindy is being very nice to me, though. She's not moving. Which is nice. And Candy's saying, but... Yay! <laughs> okay. Anyways. Job well done. Let's, uh... Move on. Loading feed. What are we loading exactly? Ah. It's 1987. Oh, hi. <laughs> what up? Is this a conveyor belt? Is this where the, the, the garbage is made? Garbage? Um, but it, no. Don't be closer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Back off, Jack. Okay. Oh my fucking god! Oh! At least it takes me to the title screen each time. I kinda like that. It doesn't force me to the next night. That's- that's awesome. Okay. So, let's recap. It's 1987. I saw that on the calendar. Um... It's all like a penguin machine and I saw like a weird mannequin machine as well and then Candy Cindy Chester I think was also after me or Chester may have been just chilling honestly he may have been opening the blinds back like, what's making this racket out here and then he looked at the camera being turned on and he's like oh the night guard night guard's uh, here and he, he was just chilling I don't know what that was about okay let's just go to the night the two night two Hey there. I, uh, put up a note today to gather some intel on the animatronics from the other employees. Uh, just to get a list of the, uh, 
issues we've had with them. They've written down some stuff here for you, so uh, let's see. Alright, so obviously the animatronics walk around at night, you know that by now. Um, they try to get to places they shouldn't be. Uh, yep. They act weird after dark. They don't like adults. Yes. Hmm. I mean, I suppose. They always seem nice around children. Around us employees, they just kinda stare at you. I always thought that you hadn't been coded to interact with anyone other than children. But some of the other employees have felt threatened by them now and then. But I know that some of them are also superstitious morons. So who knows if they just became scared when the animatronic looked at them in the eyes or something. Anyway, one last thing on the list here. The last penguin interferes with the system. There's a sentence I never thought I'd say. Uh, we have these penguin animatronics as waiters. Uh, they take people's orders and whatnot. We used to have three of them, but two of them broke down and haven't been fixed yet. I think they're referring to the third penguin that still works. Or, well, apparently it doesn't quite work. So yeah, definitely don't let him into the office. His presence alone could probably destroy our systems. Well, what the that'll fuck? be it for now. I'll be sure to leave another message for your next shift. The fuck you mean, penguin? Also, why do I have a cup now? Chester! Oh my god. Okay, Candy's still there. Chester's fucking gone. Oh no, Chester is moving around. Did he say penguin? Dude, I saw that the moment he came in. Oh my god, this is... It's like kind of stressful. Okay. Holy fuck. Good evening. That big one! I heard that fucker. Penguin was at my door. I didn't like that. Okay, Chester went back to his stage. Everyone's still not on their stage though. I'm trying to get the pattern. So like you could see their eyes. Oh my god. It's like so stressful. It's hard to like talk. If that makes sense. I would look around for them, but I'm actually running quite low on power. Like panicking. Holy. Okay, Cindy's on 12. That was close. You got a little too close for comfort there. Oh no. She got closer. Cindy did get closer. Chester's also on the move. Oh my god. Oh, Candy went back to his stage though. Because he's a nice cat. That doesn't suck. Oh, Chester is about to kill me.
Okay. Well, that was uh, a quick succession of movement. Okay, candy's kind of far. The penguin's back on 12. Um, candy's on 8. Why, why was the... Was one of the doors open? Yeah, the kitchen's open. That was... Weird. Oh, Candy's about to show up. He showed up. Okay. Holy. Oh my god. Why? The night vision is like so unnecessary. <laughs> um. Okay. Chester's on cam 9. I think that's his normal stage. Is the penguin still in 12? No, he's in the kitchen still. Okay. And everyone else is like somewhere. It's so stressful. It's so stressful for no reason. <laughs> My god. Okay. Whoa. What's the next camera footage? I'm assuming. Loading feed. Why is it glitchy? Ah, no video input. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Someone got ripped apart. Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> Halfway there. All right. I'm going to say that to the next episode. Um, This is like really good all of a sudden. Although I don't know how the other mechanics are going to do well. When they throw other stuff at me. I don't know how big of a window I have before I have to react to them killing me. So that's what's scary about it. It's like, I don't know if they could be standing there for a good second before they're like, Arr, I'm inside. Okay. I think night three, that mannequin I saw is going to come to life. I didn't expect night one to have three things active. Oh, then again, Chester didn't do much. But then night two was all like, no, no, almost everyone's active. Oh my God. Oh. It's extremely stressful. Why did I have a cop? <laughs> Why did I have a soda cup with eyes? What was that about? Why? I thought that was like an Easter egg thing. My brain was thinking it was like, you know how like an ultimate customer, you get like a little bounce pad from FNAF World or something on your desk and it just appears after you lift up the monitor. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking the cup was just going to be there for when I lift the monitor, but he was still there. What was he doing there? <laughs> okay. Also, the kitchen was open for some reason. So, I'm not sure if the footage is, uh, the live feed I'm getting is, like, of today's standards or not, or, like, their previous things. They have dates, but I haven't been paying attention to that calendar enough to see what actual dates is what. I just know it says November, and it's, um, 1987, which is interesting. Okay, well, that's Five Nights at Candies. Uh, next episode, we'll do Night 3, maybe 4 at the same time, depending on how painful that is. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!